Hello and welcome to the new video. This video is all about Laravel e-commerce marketplace hyperlocal extension. This module is very beneficial for both the sellers and the buyers. The sellers can easily add the location where the seller can ship the product and the customer can search the products or the sellers according to their location just by entering their location. So you can buy the module from the web cool store and go to the user guide for the complete installation process of the module under the user guide here you can find all the necessary necessary steps that are required to install the module here you can also find the workflow of the module so now this video we will see that how the laravel e-commerce marketplace hyperlocal extension will work first of all we will need to navigate to the admin panel under the admin panel click on configure after clicking on the configure here the admin can see that the hyper local marketplace option is visible after clicking on the hyper local marketplace here the module configuration are visible here in which there are several fields that need to be filled by the admin such as google api key here the api key that will be generated by the google need to be entered by the admin in this field the admin will enter the google api key now the another one is filter product on the basis of same city if the admin has enabled this toggle button so the customer will able to filter the product that will be basis on of the same city of the customer another one is product filter range here if the admin has enabled the above toggle button so in this the admin can select the product filter range between 1 km, 2 km and 5 km from the drop down menu. Another one is status. From here the admin can enable or disable the module. So now, now the next one is enable single seller checkout. From here the admin can enable the single seller checkout. If the admin has enabled this button so that the customer will able to process the checkout from a single seller only or the customer will not be able to purchase product from two different sellers here the last field is zip code here the admin will enter the zip code of his address after this the admin just need to click on the save button after clicking on the save button here a pop-up will generate that the configuration have been success successfully saved now here the admin need to enter the post codes for the inventory also for this the admin need to navigate to settings under the settings click on inventory sources after clicking on the inventory sources all the inventories those have been created are visible to add a new inventory the admin just need to click on the add inventory sources button or to edit any inventory the admin just need to click on the edit button of any particular inventory here let's see an example that where the admin can enter the post code here these are all the details regarding the inventory such as code name description and so on here the admin can also enter the latitude and the longitude regarding the inventory here. In the last, the admin can see the postcode field here. The admin can enter the postcode of any of any inventory so that the products of that inventory will be visible to the customer according to the location. After this, the admin just need to click on the save inventory source button. After clicking on the same inventory source button, a pop-up will generate 
that inventory source updated successfully now let's move to the seller profile here under the seller profile under the marketplace section there is the option named as shop here the admin can enter the zip code for his shop if the admin want to enter more than one zip code so the admin need to separate these zip codes by comma after this the admin just need to click on the submit button after clicking on the submit here we can see the location has been updated successfully now let's see the workflow of the module whenever a customer will enter the shop the customer will need to enter the zip code of his location here in this field the customer will enter the zip code of his location after entering the zip code the customer just need to click on the go to shop button after clicking on the go to shop button here in the header we can see the zip code of the customer's location and here we can also see the store options after clicking on the stores that is visible on the header of the website all the stores that are available in that particular location that have been entered by the customer are visible here as we can see that the stores are visible to the customer to add or view the product the customer just need to click on the products after clicking on the products all the visit all the products are visible to the customer after clicking on the add to cart customer can successfully add the product to the cart here as we know that under the admin under the admin panel here where there are marketplace hyperlocal marketplace settings the admin has enabled the single seller checkout so the customer will not be able to add the product to the cart from any from two different sellers here as you can see we have already added a product to the cart so in this case the customer will not be able to add another product from another different seller now let's see what happened here suppose this is the product so for this product whenever the customer we click on the add to cart button a pop up will generate that the customer is not able to process items from different seller because the admin has enabled the single seller checkout from the back end here yeah. now see what happened when the admin sorry when the customer has added the product to the cart and has not proceed for the further checkout process and the customer is going to change the location here yeah. whenever the customer will change the location and click on the go to shop button a pop up will generate that will say that on the location address change the cart will be empty so whenever a product has been added to the cart and the customer is going to change the location then the cart will become empty for that other location here the customer can click ok or cancel button according to the location here now what happen when the product or the stores are not available for the location that have been entered by the customer suppose here the customer will enter 
a new location after clicking on the go to shop button the location of the customer will be visible on the header whenever the customer will, will click on stores here the customer can see that the no stores are available at your location it means that the no locations it means that the no stores are available as per the customer location so this was all about laravel e-commerce marketplace hyperlocal extension the hyperlocal marketplace have a great future in the upcoming days in this video we have seen the workflow of the laravel e-commerce hyperlocal extension thank you and stay connected for the next video